We didn't even have to grab the apple from the thing. Ah, I'm showing off already. Look at me, I'm fancy! That's cool. Rebellion. I don't think it's anything special. Our neighbor at home knows someone who's related to the inventor of Scarecrow. Oh, it's a pot that's flying around. Okay, cool. Man, I'm gonna put on like 40 pounds just like walking around looking at everything. I suppose some introductions are in order. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. I am quite the dramatic entrance you made. I know. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. How much? I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed, four years of schoolwork is a bit. Being that far behind, I'd feel so inadequate. Of course, presumably as a hard-working Hufflepuff. You'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hardworking too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Arthur's got you. It's all right. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me. I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yes. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. All right, so can I go talk to... Got you, you don't need to be so frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. 
Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Thanks, Arthur. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Professor Weasley said she'd help me with my switching spells after class. Revelio. She's tired of finding partially transfigured items. What? Okay, so I'm not allowed to go up there, huh? You can't jump on the stairs? What type of... Why I can't jump! Ugh. Wow! Okay. I ate a whole chunk of cake. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make I the am, most of it. That's true, yeah. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, Joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Rebellion. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up.
simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. House Elf Recipe Book. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creation. Original creations, this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled dirigible plums, are dirigible plums are likely in a acquired taste. Thank you. You've unlocked a field guide challenge! Your progress towards completing the challenge appears here. Okay. Field guides are... Challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increase your level and power. Field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Selecting your first guide page unlocks a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock through your adventures will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Select field guide pages in Hogwarts, one of two. Here appear Tiers reward. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed <clears throat> from the challenges menu. Come back to often to collect your rewards you have unlocked. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Wasn't there one down here? Yeah, right there. See it? Oh, but the, the thing! Protego! Revelio! Uh, if one tickles a pear in this, in this still life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into your knob and allow the entry to Hogwarts Kitchen. Run! Run! Okay. So, now we're here. Now I can go here. Go here. Okay. Uh, new, new quests. All of Professor Weasley. Okay, so that's where I go to seek quests. And here is here. Uh huh. Sure. Ooh, headwear. Uh, no, I, no, no, no. Um, I prefer not. Uh, I don't mind the robes. Um, nope, I would like to have clothing on. You know what, let's go ahead and take off gloves. I, I, I'm okay with all this. All right, anyways, so, cool. Oh, collection. Oh my gosh. Oh, so, okay. Vilio pages. Nothing here. Oh, wait, we, okay. So this is where I can go to see all the things I've collected and actually see the progress for all that type of stuff. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's good to know, right? Revelio.
Oh, um... Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. <clears throat> you can open the map at any time by... Okay. M for map. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. On the left side of the map is where students and profes uh, professors live and includes a house commons room in the Great Hall. Great Hall. This, in this view, you can see the flu flames available in the region. The green flu flame represents a flame you have discovered, including your own of the common house. Great blue flames reveal locations of undiscovered blue flames. The right side the right side of the map is where you're, you'll find academic astronomy tower library greenhouse. That's the left side. Select library annex. Continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flame for you. Use AD to rotate the map. Wait, what? Use AD to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall. Okay, I did it. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get Rebellion. anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Off on another adventure, are we? Uh, yeah. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside Oh, of awesome. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. 
You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold mm. it and have a look. You can now track available quests from the map. This symbol represents main quests. Completing main quests symbol will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spells and or level requirements. This symbol with a weird chest lock thing inside of it. In these cases, you will need to be required you will need to be the the that's an important word the the required and or level and or have the required spell to activate the quests new spells can be earned by professor assignments which is that symbol or as quest rewards track quests with that with right click Enchantment clap the map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will okay. be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I hey, shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention more than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. Revelio. Wish I could have studied. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems.
Um, so I did watch a video about this where I know it goes from zero around uh, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you have to equal the number in the middle. So we know it's so the first one is a 11, so it is uh, 21 minus 11, which leaves 10. And then there's a goat head, dragon head thing, I don't know, which is 0, 1, 2. So that is 8. So then we have to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is the spider thing. So now we go up to... Revelio. I guess it's this one. Is that the correct one? 